Yo, welcome Sports Life and Hip Hop. Back again, man, as usual. Um, before we get into it, let's get the props out the way. First off, man, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You want more dope entertainment? <clears throat> Set them alerts so you get uh, get the new episodes as soon as they drop, as soon as they upload. Um, what else? Uh, Did you give them the title? Oh, hey, you already know where you at right now. If you're watching it, you already know Sports Life and Hip Hop on YouTube. YouTube. Don't forget about uh, SLHH Pod. That's on IG. Content just as entertaining as the pod. Um, once again, SLHH Pod. SLHH Pod at Instagram. On Instagram. Um, if you got a small business, uh, you got you're trying to manage your social media. You got ideas. You want to expand it. Holler at uh, the beautiful people over at Breakthrough Consulting. Breakthrough4u.com Breakthrough, the number four, the letter u.com And last but not least, new music, hot shit <clears throat> Go get the album, uh, or stream the album, Universal Law My man Dre Cobbs and Channel 7 Those guys, some great guys over there I, I've, seen them, I've seen them, I've seen their work um, Universal Law, streaming everywhere, all platforms And um, You've seen them, you've heard that I've heard their work um. Yeah, I've heard it work. I just had a joke. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't lay a bar for. Uh, yeah. No, that was all those guys, man. That was all Channel Seven wow. and Drake Cobb. Wow. Wow. <laughs> channel just, Seven. Channel Seven <laughs> seems like he's taking a. When I step out the booth, man, I, I'm, I'm not that guy, man. I'm just Peter Parker talking right wow. now. It's Bruce Wayne right now. Man. Yo, shout out to Cobb, though. Know all know day. Shout out. <laughs> Right, you know. What'd you call it? Um, but as usual, now without 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 further ado, without out the way, got the All Star cast, got my man Zeke, Ricky Shway, and I'm Channel Seven. Let's get into it, man. Um, everything good? What's, what's been up with it? Happy uh, belated Father's Day to so all the fathers. <laughs> 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 Ed OG, man, Ed OG. Shout out to Ed OG with, with the father song, man. We don't, we don't have too many Father Day tracks. That's right, the only right. father's rap song, ain't it? Is there another Father's Day song? Like dedicated a father's to the father's? Oh, that's really dedicated to the fathers. Ed OG, look it up, y'all. Ed OG, be a father to your child. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know any other... Track. Like dedicate because the Nas daughter song that's not oh, that's, that's not really it's, 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 it's a yeah. daughter song Wait, that's just the two with daughters Tupac had the mama song though. yeah dear mama dear that's mama. mama's right there's a lot of rap mama songs yeah it's a and lot of rap. no one makes a dad song right uh, it came straight for the father yeah, like, yeah, what, what's, up? Up? what's up with that man why we can't get a track by you know <laughs> one of the notable uh, MCs you, 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 know? you know why. <laughs> nah, it, 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 we, get, we get the bad stench, you know. Bad stench. We get the stench. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. Most rap dads wasn't around, man. Uh -huh. Pac, he didn't know his dad. Big didn't know his dad. Jay Z. But they were dads. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, they could have made a track like you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Pac, yeah, Pac had, well, he had the letter to my unborn. That's not really. Hmm. Right, 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 right. But Nas, he'd easy to come over with a track, you know? Yeah, his pop, well, he did. He had, uh, what's the song where his pops was on? No, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Was it was Bridging the Gap or something? Bridging yeah, the Gap, yeah. right. Father yeah. son duo, you know. That was, Doc that was kind of dedicated Rivers to fathers. Type of things. It's yeah. a decent song. Yeah, it's a decent song, you know. But yeah. it's not really marketable, <laughs> which makes it was marketable. I mean, they made he it made it was a single. But yeah, I mean, yeah, that was yeah the video too. Really? Yeah. It was a dud. The album, the song. <laughs> I'm not still pumping this. I remember Ed OG before. I remember you know what I'm saying. You remember the saxophone? It's <laughs> right out, man. The sultry sounds of the sax. <laughs> <laughs> the sultry sax. Right. The sultry sax. The seductive sax. <laughs> man, he's going in. I'm like, man, but. Um, yeah, we need more. We need, yo, MCs, future MCs, MCs out there watching. You know, we need more good dad songs, good Father Day dad songs. You know, there's some of us out here. You know what I'm saying? So, how was your Father's Day? 
chill. Chill. I relax. Yours? Same. Um, it was it was hectic as usual, but shout out to wifey. She gave me a little break. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, it was cool. You know. Um. What else? I don't know how you. Well, shit. Let's get into it, man. I have off top. I just want to know why the hell. The words be Simone <laughs> are coming out of my mouth. And why do I give any fucks about her opinion on on her not liking nine to five? Because you work a nine to five. Well, I'm just saying, like, but why do I care about her opinion? Who is y'all tell me who is 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 B. Simone? Like she's a she's a social media darling. Um she, she's a comedian. She's she a comedian. Yeah, she, no, she I, does I don't know she was comedian no, before. No. Not <laughs> ghost in the booth. No, nah, not she. Not stand up, but she on uh, wilding out. She do like right, yeah. Oh, she real? Do, yeah, I, yeah. I think all that came after she was a known person on social media, though. So she's an influencer. Yeah, yeah. you can say that. Okay. I don't know if she started on Vine or or IG, but like, she gained a following. Then she released a book about how to manifest because she claims all this success she has, she manifested it into her. And it, until it came true, but mm-hmm. then she released a book about how to manifest your dreams, uh, vision boards and shit. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. looked like a scrapbook or something. Then people were saying she plagiarized the book, and then she <clears throat> released a statement talking about, the, yeah, it wasn't my fault. I'm, I'm taking full responsibility, but my team fucked up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's all on me. But my team, they didn't handle it right. What was her angle with the nine to five thing? Like, she, why was it she a big said stink? she's an entrepreneur, and she said right. that nine to five is not going to understand her schedule. Mm-hmm. So she's being presumptuous upon. She's saying her schedule is, you know, like not it's not rigid. So, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Like a nine to five is not going to be able to understand that she has to be at the club at two, three in the morning. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what she said. I think it's poppycock. <laughs> <laughs> If she truly means that, I can see that. I mean, you, know you do what you want. You know what I'm saying? You right. like who you want. You, you, you it's it's freedom. Just, yeah. Yeah. Know. I mean, but the thing is, with that freedom or with that plat- platform or whatever for you to speak your mind, you're going to get something back. So yeah, you gotta yeah willing. like you got to be willing. Like on one end, yeah, like people are going to watch you and like everything you say or like you know just pretty much see what you're doing. On another on another angle is like once you say something. And it rubs people where people don't like it. They're gonna speak their speak their angle. So, I mean, I don't. Me personally, I mean, me looking at B. Simone, I don't think she's at that level where she could just cut. This is just my opinion. You know, like I said, I don't care what she does or whatever, who she goes with. Mm-hmm. But you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like she's at a upper echelon level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like she at a certain. I mean, she got a little fan. She got a million followers. Okay, <laughs> but I'm just saying. And in today's world, that means something. She's an influencer. She's no, no, an it, official it, influencer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I no. can dig it, but uh, you she know, ain't punching a clock. Nah. nah. Well, put it this way: she actually, I assumed when I saw that that that, that caption, I just assumed it was a money thing. So she she actually said it was because a, a nine to five cat wouldn't understand her life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which well, it, case, bo- it boils down to money. Though. It's kind of shit, man. Yeah. It's kind of shit because you she think... She talking about the nine to five dude that's working great. at the grocery store yeah. or something. So what if she gets... What if it's a... What if it's a, uh, a motherfucker that... He's a he's a secular cat, nine to five, but he getting that bag. You know what I'm saying? She don't want him. Can't work, can't, can't so it's not a money thing. She actually... I so it's truth money. actually to yeah, her... It's a, it's a money thing. I think it's a cloud stuff. She said she need an it's entrepreneur business owner. Yeah. I think she said drug dealer too. <clears throat> I don't know about So that's the other part, yeah. Ah, jeez. All right, well, I mean, (laughs) you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm not, she's an influencer and I'm not influenced. (laughs) But on the (laughs) flip side, if a a guy said that. Right. If a guy flipped out and said, yo, I I only want to deal with light skinned chicks. You know what I'm saying? Like, if he said, he put up a. a barrier on Right, that's what they'll defend her. Well, yeah. that's her preference. Yeah, but if, if, if a mom say, like, if a dude say, I only preference white women, mm-hmm. he gonna get hell for well, it. What about, if he said, what about if he said, I can't mess with a, with a nine to five chick? They really yeah. gonna, they gonna, they gonna throw tomatoes Nigga, out. who is you? Right. I've yeah. heard, but I've heard that. 
Like I can't, fuck with, I can't fuck with no basic bitch. <laughs> and I'm sure he got tomatoes throwing at him. <laughs> it's a cool thing when the guy says it though. Like I don't fuck well, with no us, basic yeah. bitches. Like if Fabo yeah. said, "You a basic bitch," like <laughs> he could straight demean a chick, yeah. and he'll be applauded for it. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, but like by I said, the guys, yeah. Not the Fabo would do that. I'm just I just threw his name out there as an example. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, it, on the flip side, if a guy did that, if a guy said, "I don't I don't want to deal with." You know, X, Y, Z, he definitely getting shit wrong. Mm-hmm. Like, worse than her. Yeah. yeah. Like, worse than her, so. She know. still had a lot of people defending her. Yeah. Ain't no one gonna defend a black dude <laughs> or any dude saying, you know what I'm saying, yo, I don't I don't, I don't, don't fuck with nine to five bitches. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm, oh, that's why Nick Cannon was, was interviewing her. Because she's on Wild and Out. She basically that's works for Nick that, Cannon. That's the thing. Nick okay, yeah. all right, all right. All right. Putting the dots together, yeah, like I said, yeah. I, and believe me, she worked a nine to five before she became this. Oh, yeah. She a regular chick, just got on YouTube. Yep. Got yep. Okay. Yeah, got a thing. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. So, but yeah. Well, <clears throat> unless you, unless y'all still influenced by <laughs> Peace of Mind. <laughs> nah, I'm. <laughs> nah, yeah, it was I, a big you, thing. You it was all this, over the internet. You think this gives her more fame? This, no. this, uh, no. She's not even funny. No, she's not. <laughs> She look okay. She look alright. Makeup. Right. She alright. Makeup. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, makeup. Make that's the whole point of makeup. Is, is oh, making. Yeah. I know. I know. She, I know. She made mad shot. She shot her shot at Drake mad times. I'm pretty oh, sure he took a that. big number two. I mean, I don't know if it was like a joke. <laughs> I don't know. Like it was. I'm pretty sure it was like tongue in cheek. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Joking. You know. But like, I'm just she's playing just, unless you're gonna do it. Right. 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 Mm-hmm. Right. 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 right, right. Mm-hmm. Well. <clears throat> That's what in, a, in this day of uh, quarantine and, uh, and there's nothing else to do. That's the shit that entertains us now. But we in phase. That's, that's we, we, over the headlines. But we in phase four uh, Friday. Yeah. What? Mm-hmm. Hey, we in the gyms? I'm in the gym. Yeah, I want to go to the gym. I, I really, know. yeah. I really, I'm back in the gym, dog. So <clears throat> open up Friday. You in there Friday afternoon? Yep. Export. You in export gym? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna have not worried there. about. No. I've been out here this long. I've been okay. <laughs> but that's a, but the gym is a and I don't know and I agree, but I'm just saying, but <clears throat> the 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 people, the anti gym people that are gonna say like that's a feeding ground for um even more of a feeding ground for bacteria and germ spread than the most your grocery store, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a people keeping it moving, they're in and out of the grocery yeah, store in the boy. gym. You're in one place huffing and puffing, all types of particles are being spewed that you don't know about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, got, I'm definitely not stepping breathe, in the gym man. in the locker room. I'm definitely not stepping I, in the locker room. So you're gonna use the little small locker, or leave your stuff in the car or whatever. Right. I'm, I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna walk out stinking in the car <laughs> and I'll go home and shower up. I was never in the really gym. shower at the gym. Yeah, I'm not anyway, a shower but. type of guy at the gym anyway. I just right. I yeah, gonna, but just going in the locker room to change or whatever. It's, yeah, it's risky. We didn't see what goes on in yeah. there. <laughs> but I just, just want to go in and get my 45 minutes an hour and get out. Yeah, that's it. They gotta open the courts up, man. They're if it's not, only gonna be not. 10 people in the gym, not. social distancing. The not state says them. 10 people. They're not open. Ten people in the whole gym? No, no, no. Fifty. The state says. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Venues can have fifty, 50 people yeah. packed up. So why can't we have ten people in the gym? Not have people in the gym. Dude, can you imagine it. that, man? They're gonna use it for a uh, bicycle class. Yeah, I can see them using that for distancing. Like, yeah, they're, 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 they're not gonna do that. Because that that spin room over there is pretty small. You you in there packed tight. Yeah, sardine. And plus, uh, you know who uses the court mostly, so they. Mm-hmm. they yeah, they're not. Yeah. Not it. Yeah. <laughs> There's people that come there only for that. Right. Yeah. They don't even touch the weights. Mm, yeah. That's their life. But can you imagine going up there? Like, yo, we yo, we at capacity. You, you gotta wait. You gotta wait till uh, you gotta wait till one person leaves. Right. But uh-huh. you could just you know what I'm saying? It might be worth you I mean not worth it, but it's a new world. You just wait in the car, they'll call you. That's what they probably gonna do. But one gonna you gotta wait on one person. Most of us gonna be in line doing push-ups and you know what I'm saying outside. No, nah, no, nah, I don't think it's gonna be a line. I don't think it's gonna be a line. I think they're gonna say, "Yo, we'll call you. You're next." It's gonna be like a restaurant. Like, That's the only way I'm gonna go. I'm not waiting in line. No, I'm not waiting in line outside like for some. I'll make an appointment to go to the gym. I'm cool with that. No, no, I'm yeah. I'm not cool with the to go to the gym. I ain't cool with the appointment. I mean, I'm saying. Well, that's it, gonna guarantee you. That right in. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta wait around. You just pull up when you ready, when your time and go in. But I'm not wait. I'm not gonna go up and say, "Oh, sorry, we got too many people." <laughs> up. 
Yeah, it's gonna happen. I'm not yeah. waiting in line for to go in the gym. You know what I'm saying? Like you've waited for worse, but all right. Because then if they tell you that, that's you the don't only know, reason I don't go. You to don't the know how long anymore. the wait gonna be. Right. You know what <laughs> you know? But if they're saying, "Yo, like," they'll probably tell you how long the wait's gonna be. Say, well, is, is it? If they right. say, "Yo, we got two, we got, we need two people to leave for you to come in," is okay. it gonna be it when you go when you do go in? Or are they gonna say, "Yo, you only got this much amount of time to stay in here"? It's gonna be a limit, right? I don't. Know. I don't think so. You can just go in there and stay as long as you want. It got to be a limit. Yeah, it got, they got a limit. You know, so yeah. what, they going to put a tracking device on you? <laughs> they gonna well, say, yeah, like, I guess there's no way to Yeah, it's no way to tell. Yeah, no way to tell. They, they're not going to say, yo, you've been in here 48 minutes. You only got three. Unless they, when they check the people in, reason, it's a, they ain't going to do all that. No, they ain't going to. But all the more reason I need to be able to set an appointment. Like, Because I'm not about to just sit in my car to some undefined time. and Even if you set an appointment, I don't see them... Like if they uh, at capacity, I don't see them allowing you in. Like you can have your appointment all you want. It's just like making a reservation at a restaurant. Oh yeah, I see. You that. know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I a restaurant, you say, "Yo, like I'm, I got a reservation for seven. and you say, "Okay, you're next." Yeah, Where people still sitting. Yeah, they still right, right, they right. See, you still gotta wait. You it's got a you, reservation. Cause just like it's always a motherfucker that wanna party, that wanna sit around the table talking mm-hmm. even though they finish eating. Mm-hmm. It's always gonna in the gym in that same. It's gonna be some of a. Brother, let me get three more sets in. I'm gonna wow. be out of here. You know what I'm saying? There's always gonna be some gym head that don't want to leave. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I can see that. That's gonna be a trip. They gotta. If, if they do they appointments, gotta it gotta out. be appointments for everybody then. No, it ain't gonna be appointments for everybody. I don't think so. But we don't know. This That's is, gonna defeat the purpose of an appointment then. We yeah. don't know. This is all hearsay. We just we know. got an appointment at nine and ten people walk in at eight fifty. Ain't nothing you can do. <laughs> right. Nope. Your appointment don't mean shit now. Is that? Is I'm telling you, it's just like a barber or, or making a reservation in a restaurant. You can have an appointment with your barber all you want, but if he got someone in the chair, his time are, uh, lapses, mm-hmm. and you still wait. So, my thing is like I, I'm tri- I'm tripping on how like people don't see what's going on. The more you open up. All right, so we got gyms opening, the movie theaters. I see they even opening up at fifty percent capacity. Keep your third um, eye. You about to open your third eye right now? Huh? Well, no, nah, like it's not even a third. I can use one of my real actual eyes. Like, why the fuck nah, they, they don't see? No, I'm saying I don't need one of my one. actual eyes. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean. Like, you know what I'm saying? Know, like, man. Florida, they opened up. You know what I'm saying? And this shit spiking. Florida, Florida oh, bad. That's Florida just going crazy. They it's records. 23 states that the, the shit is just spiking because they're opening up. Like, all right, so now here we're opening up. And, but we and did good, though. We was one of the states that listened. We behaved. We behaved. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we actually adhered to the rules. Right, right, so right. Most of us. Most of us did. So, like, with that being said, like, yeah, like, you, you can get a little air, like... You know what I'm saying? Like it's cool. Like Florida, I don't think they've ever shut down. I think right. they, no, they never shut down. I mean, they did, but I, I think everyone was just like, Whatever. bro. I don't, it took, oh, okay. I don't think it's been like out here. Out it here took for them to, cool. yeah, it took for them to, 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 to have helicopters going off, kicking sand off the beach right, to make people yeah. leave. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and dude, yeah. you know what I'm saying? People going in stores with no mask on. Like Florida, they wilding, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like. They bugging. You, 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 you're going against my, my God-given rights, my but, American rights to but, walk around. I mean, consider the state, you know what I'm saying, That's consider the leaders of those states. Our Republican. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I ain't making it political, but you know what I'm saying? It is what it, it is. It kind of got to be, though. Like, it's, cra- it's, you know, it's, kind of, it's crazy how it's intertwined. Like, you right. see the, the, the Trump uh, rally. Yeah, not that many people showed up. <clears throat> yeah. You know but what I'm Oklahoma saying? Oklahoma is, is his state. None of the marks, right? Yeah. None of the marks had masks on. I saw a few. Nah, in the, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, a few, but most of them was just just willy nilly. You know what I'm saying? But their leader, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, says we don't need masks. He doesn't wear one. He's gone to multiple, you know what I'm saying, um, events and stuff, and he's he's like, look at me. You know what I'm saying? I'm mask free. I'm good. What <laughs> right. the fucking mask? This second science. Wave, this second wave coming though. Yeah, yeah like, you know it's coming. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not wishing on the worst. I'm not, but it looks like it's coming, dude. Because you got flu and this. Mm-hmm. Flu season is in the fall. Yeah. Now, you how you going to differentiate Oof. between which is which? Bad times. You fucking up there shaking with the sweats. Man. You yeah. don't know if you got, got the flu and you're going to be all right. Or if you, Ooh, bad you, times. It's cold they red. Saying, they were saying in the beginning, the, uh, the warm weather, that'll, that'll kill it. That ain't kill shit. But nah. then look at Brazil. They shit is going right, to yeah, pass Brazil's up. Brazil's going up. 
The shit, yeah. it was hot in the winter over there. They, you know what I'm saying? Well, I just want to, I just hope uh, the shit just holds off so that we can get the NBA season in. You know what I'm saying? Like that. I mean, that's going to, that's going to uh, happen. But like, even so, like it's in Florida. Finish it. But it's in Florida. Like, where the shit is spiked. Spike. Mm-hmm. Spike. So, Unbelievable. And then, it's a lot of cats sitting out. And then we found out that uh, that the workers, they can go home. They can go in and out? Yeah. Yeah? Psh, oh, boy, that shit about to go up, man. They might not finish the season. Yeah, so, like, you got uh, uh, barbers and all that. They can meander. They can go in and out and all that and cooks and... Get their mani petties. But They still know, supposed to get tested, though, right? Yeah, yeah. but still, like... And the, and the protocol is if someone catches it, they, they can still play in the season, but they got to quarantine, quarantine two weeks yeah. and all that. You know what I'm saying? Did you see the ring they got? <clears throat> yeah, the spacing ring. Yeah. The like, there's a, there's a ring. All you the players wear? have a ring when they come within they six feet. I don't think they have to wear it. No, nah, they got to. Oh, it's mandatory? Yeah. Okay. If they come within six feet of each other for longer than five seconds, it goes off. <laughs> you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, no. They, they were saying it's a ring that... Uh, can detect, the can detect the symptoms like three days in advance or some wow. shit. Wow. I saw it takes your temperature. Oh, so, so they give they that's give cold. that to NBA players. They don't give that to Nah, them. we ain't getting that. <laughs> nah, nah. That's that's the NBA money right there. That's going to be across all sports if that shit work. Yeah. 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 Nah, that's... Well, and Corona look like it's here for a while. Well, I, I spoke to a source that says... No uh, names. Mm. <laughs> unless something absolutely big happens, pause, like mm-hmm. the season is going gonna, is gonna to start. Yeah. Right. yeah. It just may be... Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, you, got some, you got some inside scoop stuff. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, man. Sports life and hip-hop. Yo, we got the inside scoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely got sources. <laughs> mad contacts. Mad, mad sources that cats don't, can't get their, get, their, get their hands on or get a text from. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I ain't saying you woke Janowski or nothing. But <laughs> you kind of are. <laughs> but, uh, Black Woj. <laughs> the Black Woj. <laughs> Do you think it's the season going to finish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll finish. I mean, like, I think if they from a health start, standpoint. they start, they're going to finish it. They're going to make sure. It so it might be Caruso be, and some, it's gotta some, be something. It's got to be something. Like a whole team gets yeah, it. Yeah, it's got to be major. I'll so if LeBron to. and AD gets it, like, they're going to finish the season. Yeah. If, even with First of all, they're not even going to let you know LeBron got it. I can see that, too. I mean, you, and we'll put two to two to get two and two together. We'll see them for two weeks of the season. Nah, they're not even going to They're going to let them. Imagine LeBron get it. You think they're going to shut it down? Right. No, no, man, I feel good. They're not going to let him play. Yeah, they are. Mm-hmm. With Corona. If he, if he gets Somebody going to call the snitch gonna... line. Yeah, yeah there's a snitch line. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, That's if the if the news leaks that he has it. Right, I can see him. I can see him I can see leaking. him keeping it under the table. Yeah, exactly. If yeah, LeBron see, get it, yeah. They still got to follow protocol, mm-hmm. even if it's LeBron. They going to follow it under the table. Yeah, I can see that. But, you know what I'm saying, the season, that's going to be... I'm saying, all right, say two may say him and AD get it. They ain't going to shut it down. They ain't going to shut it down. They ain't, they ain't gonna, gonna shut it down. They ain't going to stop the whole gonna, thing. They're not even going to have to sit him out. LeBron they have do, to sit him out. LeBron will do what he wants. You think that LeBron yes. James, because he's LeBron James, yes. he can break protocol mm-hmm. of a health. You know the law, the liability that, you know that the NBA puts him up? <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know what's crazy? He's not even going to stay at the hotel they got. He's not in the too. yacht club. He's not in the yacht hotel. There's no way he's staying there. In a three-star hotel, please. The dude gonna get an Airbnb and call it one. Say, do what? I'm a, I'm, I'm damn near worth a billion. Sue me. <laughs> but the, but the, I, I disagree with that. I, I, I seriously doubt if they're not gonna break protocol because they put themselves out of liability. That's, that is that's, true. That's, that that's, is true. But LeBron, other players, LeBron get, is their money maker. Yeah, LeBron so, is. He is, the, he is the oh, he That's is, why it's a risk. Yeah. If, but if he wants to play, thing. you gonna tell him no? Who's gonna tell LeBron no? They uh Adam I said David Stern. Uh <laughs> Adam uh, uh Silverman. Silver. What is he gonna do? So you can't you, two weeks. You gotta go through the protocol. You really think he's gonna say LeBron, you gotta sit down? Yes. No. For two weeks if he's no. No, Donovan hold Mitchell on, had on. it, you, he said, yo, I feel great. I could play right now. Dude, you actually think if he comes down with the coronavirus, they're going to let him play basketball 
LeBron is bigger than, than basketball. It doesn't matter. I can Corona definitely see them trying basketball. to hide it. I can see them hiding. I can hiding. see them hiding. Yeah, yeah but he's story. Playing. He's hiding. They'll tell, they'll he's say playing. he has an injury, an un, un, uh, uh, unreported they injury. They let you know he got Corona, though. Yeah, I can see that. But I'm saying they're not going to let him play games. He's going to have to go through the protocol of the coronavirus. They have to quarantine 14 I days. I can see them taking it day by day. Like, Yo, how you feel today? Yeah, I'm good. All right. Hell no. <laughs> yeah, I can see. He's that. worth a billion, but the NBA is worth <laughs> quite a few more billion. Yeah, yeah but this is get one player that controls a lot. That what? can spread and to everybody he is, else. He is the man. He That's is, the thing. He is spreading the guy. everybody else. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. they gonna let him play, and then the then the two the team, his team, and the team they playing against gets the shit. Like, like Pat Beverly said, if LeBron playing, everybody playing. Ain't no, hey, remember everybody was yeah. like, yo, we, we might not play. Nah, dude. LeBron playing, everybody playing. But to your point, Joe, I was listening to uh, Amin Al Hassan. He's saying, like, the worst case scenario, people was telling him, yo, the worst case scenario, man, what if LeBron get it? Blah, blah, blah. He's like, that's not the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario is if any player gets it, and brings it home to somebody else, and yeah. they die. That's Ooh. the worst case scenario. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the worst case. That's gonna fuck yeah. up everything. Because <laughs> yeah. then everybody that wanted the season to start, and like, man, why? Why was it worth it? Why'd y'all do this? And mm. It only takes one fail. Yep. You know, if that time. happens, yeah, and one player, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, one player got a heart condition. If anybody, if anybody, it don't even have to be a player. Do do if anyone perishes through within that bubble, mm-hmm. whether it be a worker, worker right. or a hotel yeah. receptionist, whatever, camera guy. Yeah, like it's not going wood. Not yeah. Yeah. Hopefully that don't happen. See none of that. Y'all, uh, y'all see the uh, Kyrie Kendrick beef? Kendrick Perkins, that is. Kendrick KD. I mean KD Kendrick. No, Kendrick Perkins. Yeah, yeah KD and Kendrick. He called no, him sell out. Kyrie. He said Kyrie. Remember, uh, uh, Kendrick not, Perkins called. He's like, man, uh, he don't want. No, KD called Kendrick Perkins a sellout. KD was know. yeah, but KD was sticking up for Kyrie. Right, right, right. okay, okay, yeah, yeah. All right. <clears throat> then he called him a sellout, which was way over the. You know, <laughs> you got beef. You call him, but at a time like this, to call him a sellout, like you know, that's a bad. You know, Kendrick called KD a sellout. KD called Kendrick a sellout. And on top of that, he on the tweet it showed him shooting an air ball, and then it says sellout. <laughs> they like, but they've been having they've been going again. Yeah, they always had a little yeah. tit for tat. But where was Kyrie involved in all this? Because uh, Kendrick called out Kyrie, right? I think Kendrick called out Kyrie in the first place. Oh, right. okay. Kyrie's coalition or whatever. They were yeah, talking cool. about po- possibly not playing. Right, because he's talking about he's statement. trying to get people to not play. Because right. it'll take away from the from the, mm-hmm. the, the movement. <clears throat> Kendrick simply had a statement. Had a He disagreed. He didn't say anything about Kyrie. He didn't call him on right. names or nothing. Mm-hmm. You know, he just said he disagreed. In so many words, and then that's when KD made the tweet, called him a sellout. Like came to, you know what I'm saying? That, but as a black person, you don't call another black person because that had that the, the the what you what you're implying is that like you going against your people type thing, and especially at a time like this. Question on this: huh. Can a white person be a sellout? A sellout is is is. is Turning code on any type of. But movie. you never hear white people say, "Man, that dude a sellout," yeah, and you know, somebody else white. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. always black people calling black. People Actually, sellouts. yeah, you do. If uh, if a white person sides with the with the darkie, <laughs> that's just what I'm about to say. Yeah. If a clan, they call him a know, sellout. They they I don't know if the word the the word is sellout, but they definitely say you're not one of us. Right, or right, like, right, or right, you, right. you, 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 you know, you turn your back on your own or America. You with the, <laughs> right, right, right. You, you with the, you with the darkies. Oh, you know okay, saying? all right. Yeah. That's always you hear that in the black community. Yeah, let's do the sellout. Yeah, Uncle Tom ass nigga. <laughs> but yeah, white white people they probably got it. Oh, okay. We just not around enough of them. But that's true. Yeah, yeah, like, like if if a uh, if a job has a union or something or some type, and, and someone crosses the picket line and striking, <laughs> they call them a sellout. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Scam, yeah. you know, same thing. You Scam. know what I'm saying? All right. Um, y'all see, uh, Bubba Wallace, he got the noose. Mm-hmm. He got the noose in his. Uh, first of all, Bubba Wallace is a NASCAR driver. I didn't know Does he was, knew. No, nah, I, I do. I didn't even know it was a black car, <laughs> black NASCAR driver. But right. salute to him, yo. Yeah, yeah. Man, that's a tough industry. Man, <laughs> bad times. 
Man, I know he definitely wow. heard the N word. <laughs> oh man, dog. Uh, fans, man, man, other spit. races. I, I'm sure they threw shit at his ass. It's a prank call about NASCAR on YouTube. They was pranking this. They called this white guy. Like, yo, what do you think about African Americans coming in? To, this was a couple years ago. What do you think about African Americans coming in? No, 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 no. It's, it's NASCAR. It's not NASCOON. Oh, <laughs> Dude was heated, man. They yeah. heated about about taking the um the Confederate, Confederate flag. flag. You right, see, yeah. you see that? I guess they had a race over. Yeah, salute NASCAR. About Even though it's a business move, it's only good business because they trying to expand their brand. You know what I'm saying? But they're so heated. The pe the people are so heated. Like I guess they had some race over the weekend, and someone flew a plane over with a big Confederate flag yeah, and it said defund that. NASCAR. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> the parking lot they had all types of confederates you know what I'm saying even though they couldn't bring it in the in the race wow but you know what I'm saying dude that's crazy yo like you gotta do you know what the confederate flag stand but you gotta say yo can you not use the confederate flag like, right 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 you know what I'm saying that's like a that's like that's like um uh that's like that's like uh that's like some Germans walking around with a Nazi flag. <laughs> yeah, like, like these are my pieces. This is my this is my heritage. Right. We're Nazis. My my you know what I'm saying some of my family was Nazis. You know what I'm saying? I can't rep my flag. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> this world. Bubble Wilds has been racing since 2010. Never heard of them till now. Yeah, me either. <laughs> yeah, well, salute. I, salute don't, to I don't pay attention salute. to NASCAR. I don't so. either, but I know who the major players are in NASCAR. Uh, Do you currently? Yeah. Dale Earnhardt Jr. still do it? That's, yeah, that's probably the only one I know. Richard Petty. Now, Richard Petty. <laughs> 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 He's probably racing his way. Hey, but Bubba his Wallace way. drives for Richard Petty Motorsports. Uh, mm, that's go. why he came out, huh? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, um, Dale Earnhardt. Yeah, Dale. You said Dale Earnhardt. Let me see. I know Dale Earnhardt. I know Mario Andretti. Mario Andretti, not NASCAR. I think that's Formula, that's one. Formula <laughs> 1. I'm just talking racing and No, nah, NASCAR <laughs> Formula 1, that's two different things. They both Earnhardt drive Jr. cars. Nah, Earnhardt they, Jr. The yeah. son. I think he retired though. Uh, Earnhardt did. I'm Rusty, talking about Rusty, Junior. Rusty Wallace. Oh, Rusty Wallace, I know about. Junior retired too. Dale Earnhardt yeah. Junior retired. I think so. Damn. The dude that was doing Mountain Dew commercials. Right? So hold up. So you mean to tell me I've lived through two Earnhardt generations? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, I don't even know these niggas. <laughs> I don't even. I've lived through two. I don't even, well, what up? Yeah, I don't think Rusty Wallace uh, racing anymore either. He's 63 years old. Mmm. No one was Richard Petty. He was in the eighties. Is Ricky Bobby still racing? <laughs> <laughs> Ricky Bobby. Hey, I've never watched NASCAR, but that movie is classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a classic movie. All uh, the real. We we you a demon as a classic off top? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah. What do y'all think is gonna happen to the uh, the new guy? Whoever put that. They in got there. they they you know NASCAR said they're gonna go do their due diligence, mm -hmm. and investigate. You know what I'm saying? Try find who did it when I, I don't think they're gonna find him but. ESPN said that garage is like some new multi-million dollar facility so mm -hmm. you figure there's cameras you figure gotta be yeah but they're not they're gonna say we didn't we didn't find anybody just come on especially they if it's one they of their good races that, what if it's one of their other prominent races you know they're gonna, they gonna nah they gonna bro, that you shit. wouldn't do that they'll send a uh Pit monkey guy to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that racist? It's, it's, watch him be black. <laughs> black pit monkey. <laughs> they they not gonna send the, the man guy in there to do that. Shot. They gonna send somebody else. Man. Depending on how much you hate niggas. The equivalent of <laughs> it might have been an emotional. Like, dude, ah, that's fucking the niggas. Equivalent, the equivalent of a ball boy. That's, hey, go do this. 2020 right, right, right. niggas still getting. But the worst thing that can happen is if it's somebody on his team or him doing it. Like the Jesse Smollett shit. Nah, I don't think. He if did. that's what it is, nah, I, don't think I hope did. not. But I don't think it's bad. Did. We got to question this shit. It's now crazy. This guy. Oh, I, I do have a question for you. Hmm. So whoever did it, let's say it's a notable NASCAR driver, mm -hmm. does he get canceled? If By NASCAR, NASCAR? A no. You remember you said that Drew, you know, Drew Brees shouldn't get canceled, right? Because right. he said what he said. Right. 
So if a guy who ever put the news out, does he get a second chance with you? <laughs> I mean, bro. I'm asking. I'm, can't just, I'm asking. A noose. I'm just good. asking. To, no, he's he getting does? canceled. He okay, does. all right. Nah. He all right. should be sniped. Like we got to, wow. we got to, yo, put put someone on the roof, man. Shoot that nigga a block away, man. Like, by the way, on episode eleven, Joe here said <laughs> Drew Brees. <laughs> Drew Brees gets a second chance. He's not willing to can't. He's, he's, he's not willing to cancel. Terrible as a noose. No, it's not. Right, it's right, not. Right. But he, he's still, you know, ignorant. You know, Is so. this a uh, yeah, a crime? What he did? This a noose? Yeah, no, that's a noose. A noose leaving that. Yeah, that's, people, is that a, is, well, is he not like gonna go to jail or no, nothing? I don't is he? think so. You can get fired. I'm not sure. Well, I'm sure. Man, honestly, I'm, I'm sure his NASCAR no, career I don't think a noose. Affected, but. I don't think a noose gets you. Uh, it's criminal. I think you okay. get fired when, if they find out. Yeah, you know? he just going his job. Yeah, is it's just, not vandalism. It's yeah, it's not. You just, just right. You know. Hey, I just dropped my noose. I'm sorry. I was, I was walking through the garage and a <laughs> noose was hanging out my back pocket and shit fell. Yo, I hope there's no more hangings. Yeah, it's been a lot. It's, it's been, been a lot. lot What's tripped out is that like. You know what I'm saying? All right, so when they came out, these were suicides. Well, everybody's like, oh, bullshit. Mm -hmm. But now it's like the cops are starting to like, kind of like back the story. Like they're not, like I'm like, I'm bugging. Like, and it's not, it's New York and LA. This isn't some hit cunt towns where you expect right, some yeah. bullshit to so go down. So you really think they are? No, I'm just saying like, I'm blown away. I'm flabbergasted that the cops are actually way. starting to like go with the suicide story. Like, first of all, darkies, black. Blacks, we as blacks don't hang ourselves. We may do some other shit. All right. We might overdose some pills. Shit. Yeah. Mental health, you know what I'm saying? Listen like, to Future and, and Promethazine, <laughs> but we're not going <laughs> we to hang ourselves. Bro. Right. Of all hang, uh, hanging yourself, that, that's a that's pretty, that's, that's a bad way to go. Yeah. If man. you're killing yourself, think about it. Like, you're hanging, dude, dude, that's a tough way. You really... Of all ways to kill yourself, you gonna hang yourself like you're that's some feeling shit. that. That's some shit you might change your mind within the yeah, process. Right, yeah. right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> like, but nah. With dude. that, don't you gotta like dude. know exactly how to do it too? Like, you, you can't just tie a t-shirt around your neck, right? Right. I mean, you gotta have enough force when you drive. Yeah, and then like kick you the gotta chair. have some dude. knowledge about it. <laughs> Dude, well, I ain't yeah. saying, but maybe I don't know, Google it or what? Black, blacks ain't kill, <laughs> yeah, blacks yeah. ain't hang. That's a lot to go we through. We do a lot we of We don't shit. drown ourselves. We don't yeah, hang we ourselves. We don't hang ourselves. Nothing that's going to be a prolonged. Nah, that's a, that's a prolonged. Yeah, like you said, that's a, that's a detail. Like, you feeling all that, Paul. Oh, yeah. <laughs> bad times. And not to make light of those with mental health issues, people with depression, or, you right. know what I'm saying, might right. have right. suicidal nah, 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 thoughts, nah, nah. you know what I'm saying, but, yo, that's some crazy shit, man, like... And it's it's coincidental how it's all happening now. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. Like it's all it's all coming out now. There's I'm always gonna be fuck. some people. They feel the movement. They feel some type of shift coming. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they this is let's go hang a nigga. Show them like nah, ain't shit changing. Scary times. Scary as shit. With that being said, like with with um with there actually being some sort of a shift. <clears throat> The black can you can you support black owned is it realistic to support black owned business you know what um, yes. I'm oh yeah yeah I'm, like, I'm trying I, I'm down the I'm down first so time right. first time ever in life like I'm trying like I'm looking at you know black owned toothpaste uh, I'm looking at clothes that's easy yo hey by the way if you want to really support black owned business <laughs> check out dope fits dope ass fits dot com yo sports life and hip hop Yo, shout out, shout out to George Floyd, man. Come fuck with dope ass fits, you know what I'm saying? Fuck with us. Got the fly apparel, and that fly shit, you know what I'm saying? I walk around like a poop butt, man. You know what I'm saying? Wearing that those major nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you. you you kept it nah. you kept it a buck. Like I think we should be on black on shit. Like we should buy bracelets, jewelry, uh, get your hair cut, toothpaste, yeah. soap. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, but if you buy black owned toothpaste from a white store, does the black owned person get the majority of the money? Yeah, and that's a, that's no, a good okay. question. I recently bought, I, I was looking at that, what, what episode was that? Two episodes ago, you were saying what we're doing during the quarantine. You said mm -hmm. you were reading. Yeah. Actually, yeah, you got to research that. Actually, yeah. well, I actually like, took your motto because I'm bored as shit. So mm -hmm. I, I, I bought this book, um, 
uh, The Crack Era by Kevin Childs. Yeah. And I bought it off Amazon. And, um, White on business. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm sure. Uh, was it Bezos? I'm yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. Last thing he needed was my 24 bucks. <laughs> um, Bezos. But uh, Amazon, yes. the authors, authors get 30% of the money. That's it. Amazon publishes the book, distributes. They get 70% wow. of the sale. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So to your point, like if you like if you buy from a white owned store, I don't know. Like do we he have to even get half and he wrote the book? You don't even Damn. get half. That's why you know what I'm saying, so, you know, if you're trying to support like all outlets aren't the best to Yeah, you to gotta buy, buy from. It directly from him. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm sure there's an avenue in this day and age where you can buy directly. Oh yeah, this black yeah. this black yeah, owned so like uh, directories. Bookstores, all that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I think it's possible. I mean, is it a little inconvenience? Yeah, but we can do it. You know yeah. What I'm saying? Like we definitely could do it like in times like this. Bring Black Wall Street back. I mean, like when George Zimmer- Zimmerman did that, like I was I was on it. I was like, "Man, I'm going to do black black owned shit." And then I lost, you know, I lost sight of the the vision. You know, I lost sight of the whole thing. But, I mean, it's not hard to lose sight. I mean, yeah, like, but it's now, so easy like, to just buy. Yeah, it, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But now, right on your phone. Yeah, but now like I'm I'm really trying like I really, I'm really trying, like, so whoever, y'all, if y'all watching the show, whoever got black business, whatever, holler at us, we'll buy it, like, yeah. Yeah. Our, our money is green, too, like, I got no problem supporting y'all. Go to Sports Life for Hip Hop and leave your, leave your links, leave your, your advertise Seriously, your links, like, whatever you want, in the comments, we'll push it. At this, at this point, like, whatever is black on, like, I'm, I'm with it, like, you know what I'm saying, so. Yeah. Um. Is Jump, Jumpman? No, go ahead. No, no, did you, no, Jumpman. Yeah, what, what was your question? I was saying, I right, so you know, what I'm saying Jordan. You, 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 you yeah. self-proclaimed uh, Nike head, and Team Nike. I've recently jumped on Team nah, Nike I'm since not, they I'm made. Not, free, I'm not uh, Team Nike. I'm Team whatever looks good. Right, right. Really well, I, since they made uh, Juneteenth, uh, they were kind of like pioneering yeah, and making Juneteenth a, a holiday. Shout out to Nike for making yeah. Juneteenth for paying their employees holiday pay. Shout I quickly out, became shout out to Team Nas. Nike. He a Nike head. <laughs> hey, shout out to Nas. Let's go. The Fizz. Mm. Oh, He's a Nike. Nah, I guess he did that. Salute. But no, since Half shout time. out to Nike because you know what I'm saying like they were one of the first yeah. big big corps that said, "Yo, Juneteenth is a holiday. We're gonna pay our employees." I don't. I don't see our company doing. That. I don't know who our company is. <laughs> right, right. But, um, no, I don't know. But yeah, Sports yo, Life and Hip Hop, we, we do that. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll definitely do that. <laughs> but um, the, no, Jordan brand, yeah, yeah. I'm still rocking that. Jordan. It's he, Michael Jordan. He's black. Yeah, he's, and he spoke. Does he own Jordan brand? Is that public stock? He's I mean, he's big enough to go go uh, public with his company, right? That's, you don't have to stay private. He did go anymore. public. Oh, you could buy some Jordan brand stock? No. Oh, okay. Anything black, you know what I'm saying? Whether it be uh, jewelry, clothes, toothpaste, soap, I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? Um, books, I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Muhammad. Yeah, Jordan Brand still owned by Nike. Yeah. Okay. Nike is huge. Oh, yeah. So that's going to But um, y'all heard what Muhammad Ali's son said? He what? said that uh, Muhammad Ali wouldn't be down with the Black Lives Matter. Have a reason? He said that his dad uh, would be part of the All Lives Matter movement. Um, because Muhammad Ali cares. I him. could, yeah, based on his older interview, I could kind of see that. So he wouldn't be part of it. He thinks he said uh, that the Black Lives Matter movement is run by devils and it's not. Um, it's the mar- not, uh, it's mar- not a positive mar- movement. Game. Muhammad Ali was on that fuck white people shit too, though, right? I mean, he was with Malcolm X. Right, yeah. Ain't he the one that said, uh, the, yeah, the, didn't you get this analogy the other day about the, uh, you said it with bees. I think I think he said it was snakes. Oh, if there's yeah. a hundred snakes coming in, the snakes is white bite. people. Right. <laughs> right, right, right. But one won't bite. Right, yeah. I got you. Yeah, right. I'm going to take the chance. He was, talking about, he was comparing that to white people. But Muhammad Ali's son, I forgot his name, I think it was Muhammad Ali. Married to a white woman. 
No, no, no. <laughs> he, him and his dad was estranged for like. Oh, he don't even know his dad. Like they weren't cool. Like, wow. you know what I'm saying? Well, this they, might they, be vitriol toward his toward his pops. So. Maybe. But Muhammad Ali, I remember he was saying uh, he didn't want to go to war because the people in Vietnam never heard him. So right. Now he gonna go kill them. So right. I could kind of right. see him right. being on the, the all lives matter. Yeah. But it ain't all lives matter. You're right. We the only ones getting. Exactly. I don't see how people do not understand. No, all lives matter. All includes black people. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. So when it's time to really be worried about white people, we'll be worried about yeah, them right now. Whatever happens. Well, for the last three to four hundred <laughs> years, it's been us that have been needed to yeah. make it known that we, hey, we matter too. Right. Hey, Help. remember us? All right. What with us? <laughs> By the way, Zeke has put me on to uh, Karen's Gone Wild on, on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Right? Every day it's a new that shit, is, that shit is disturbing. <laughs> every day. That shit is mad disturbing. Great. I, I can't even watch it every day. It's... I've stopped. Uh, to that point, man, I, I've really stopped. I just saw the fucking the shit the brother got shot in Atlanta. Uh, oh, oh, oh Wendy's. Wendy's. Yeah, yeah, Wendy's. Wendy's, right. Wendy's. I don't look. I stopped looking at, like, these videos and, like, um... I see in North Riverside Mall, there's been fights and now they're shooting. Yeah, and I heard about that. Somebody I stopped got shot there. Yeah, since mm-hmm. they opened up. Like, there's been like four major fights and then there was a shooting over the weekend. You like, think it was racial? No, it wasn't racial. I mean, just like negativity in general. Wait, social media the, lately, like, all that shit is like little pieces of trauma. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I consider it like, like a megabyte. And then it, you keep looking at it, it turns into a gigabyte. And for the, it's little, just trauma. You keep looking at this shit, it fucks your head up, man. Like, I'm through. I look at this shit once in a while, like a major shit. Like, the George Floyd thing, like, fucked me up, man. I'm, I'm tired of looking at negativity on social media, on the news. It's becoming too much. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was tough to watch once. And not to relive it, just real quick. It was tough to watch once in college. Come on, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah, once I heard this. When I found out she was dead. Yeah, yeah, that he was, was called. I was like, oh, oh fuck. Okay. It was the perks. Man. Yeah, that, that's what I was like. Yeah, I can't watch this. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you know what I'm saying? It's because it's, 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 we kind of be looking at it as entertainment. Like, social media, we look at this shit as entertainment. But it's real life. So it's like a, a, it gets all blurred up. And you know what I'm saying? And like, because if you see something that's traumatic, like, you kind of know how to compartmentalize that. Do we? You know what I'm I said, Z boy, do we? <laughs> well, I mean, but when the shit is blurred because you're looking at it on a format that's entertainment, do but it's do, shit that's not entertainment. Do young, do youngins know how to do that? No, no, I know they I don't. don't. I I'm saying oh. now, but me as an adult, I'm starting to get fucked up. Like, you know, yeah, I'm saying something. there's people that's, that's your age and older that, or our age and older that can't even do that. They can't separate. Yeah, people coming. older than us done seen it in front of their own yeah. eyes. It's just becoming crazy, man. Yeah. Y'all see the Dave Chappelle uh, 846? Yeah. That shit was dope, man. Yeah, it was. Chappelle said at a stage where he can do that. Like, yeah, he's he 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 probably the only one that right now can do that. He was, Chris Rock. Yeah, I can see Chris Rock doing that. Chris Rock. Mm-hmm. Eddie Murphy, definitely. No. Would he? No. I don't think. I don't think he would. Chris Rock is still like he's still gonna be funny. Yeah, I think Chris Rock would have had more. He, it would have been serious, but he would have had a little more comedy. Yeah. Like Dave Chappelle's. I think I might have chuckled once or twice. I'm like, but he's yeah. just that interesting. Yeah, yeah. But he can do that. He's compelling enough where you're gonna watch. Yeah. I think it was like. He reminds me of like like I used to listen to old Richard Pryor records. You know what I'm saying? Like back in the shorty like. Mm-hmm. And he would go like a whole, like like the whole record would be, it would be no jokes. He would be talking about like what's going on. Right, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But he was that entertaining where he can pull that off. And like Dave Chappelle's at that status mm-hmm. where he can just go off on a rant. That was and probably say goodnight, folks. all you know off the saying? top of the dome. Yeah. So like he might have had, he might have, yeah, he had a couple of notes, but that was and off fuck, the cuff. Fuck uh, ESPN correspondent Sarah Spain, man. What she said? Dude, fuck her, man. Like she, said? she was talking about the LBGQT, how he she critiqued Chappelle for cause, you know, in the in the in the special, he was calling women cunts. Right. Yeah, and, he talking about Candace Owens. But he was can't talking about Candace Owens. I mean. Was she gay? 
Candace Owens. I know she's a oh, black Republican, but, but she's, she's like, she, like, like yeah. he called her. Oh, I thought. But what does that have to do with the LGBT community? But he was, what was say, her being a cunt. Oh, she. But he LGBTQ. was saying that like she was saying that he didn't acknowledge some of the other um, lesbian gays that have been killed due to. Uh, Police enforcement. Because mm-hmm. uh, so the main thing was uh, main George th- Floyd and, yeah, like, uh, and Brianna. And uh, um, Ahmaud Arbery. Yeah. And I don't think he mentioned Brianna Taylor. No, he didn't mention her. He mentioned Ahmaud. But she tried to make it like a sexist thing. Like he yeah. Was being, and he wasn't on that. He no. was just speaking of, like, I'm a black man and I'm tired of seeing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Black dudes getting harassed by cops. And I don't care what Sarah Spain says. Like, black men have been harassed by cops for eternity. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. gays and lesbians. With a know. threat. Yeah, yeah. where's the threat? Well, you, you can hide it, actually. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't hide being a black man. But her critiquing it, like, she lost sight. Like, she wasn't even, he wasn't even focusing on that part. He was just focusing on, like, she was focusing on the sexism, I guess, quote unquote. She totally didn't get it. Yeah, she missed she it. told she yeah. missed the boat. You know what I'm saying? I have the tweet right here. Which is a- the bad where well, she said the good. 846 offers up an example of how stand-up shows might work in the foreseeable future. And is Chappelle- that the good? So really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> the tech and, right. and Chappelle's considerable talents were on display as he harnessed anger slash sadness into a powerful plea for change. He didn't need to crack jokes. He let us sit with our pain. Right? Mm-hmm. But the bad. Chappelle didn't mention a single black woman or a black trans person among the lies lost that he called out. In fact, the only women mentioned are called bitches and cunts. Now you may agree with those characterizations for women for the women mentioned, but remember, he couched even his George Zimmerman criticism with the I don't hate him. George Zimmerman. But she didn't even get the context. Right. On that. She didn't get the context. Right, right, right. He said, "If I met," and then she, he said, "If I met him, I probably right." Would. He said, "I don't really hate him because I don't know. Him. I don't know him." Right. <laughs> Which is true. Like you can't. Like he's saying, like you can't really hate a person in the literal you, sense. Right. right. Oh, dude, totally missed fire. Her, she had dude. about ten other tweets. going She got a on, platform, on, 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 on. yo. Like she got a platform. She got a whole platform. She can speak on, and she, man. Unbelievable. They fire all type of people from the from, right. from the Disney company. They don't fire her. Well, they, she, what, 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 they uh, ain't with Jamel Hill. Her. I was about to hey, say they, they, Jamel, Jamel Hill. Hill they'll fire she her. Mm-hmm. But they ain't gonna fire her. Ass. No. She, she gonna always have a platform. Man. White got a big rack. <laughs> That's all you need. Man, dude. But it is what it is. I mean, yeah, but but overall, to to focus on the positive of yo, it was a it was a dope special. Mm-hmm. I felt it. I felt uh, yo, I felt you know it like, like I was a little angry afterwards. A couple minutes in, <laughs> I was like, this is different. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, well, I, well, I could tell some pussy jokes, but right? Yeah, I was like, like dude, it was doing all, a lot of yelling. <laughs> it was right, authentic. Right. It was authentic though. Like, yeah, 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 it was real. It was authentic. Like that wasn't you know what I'm saying placated. That wasn't. Like, I don't think that was edited either. Nah, I don't like, think he so. Just, like, like, he went straight through. Yeah, he went straight through. At the end, he was like, all right, I'm out of here. Dope example of a dope part was when he said um, the the example of the, the the former cop in L.A. that started shooting other cops and the oh, manhunt yeah, for yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the black dude. Yeah, I forgot his name. Yeah, I forgot his name. But he said <laughs> he Shut said me. that he was going to uh, they was going to protect him because he was going to the uh, Grammys or Oscars or whatnot. And they was like, Yo, Mr. Chappelle. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you worried or whatever? And he was like, nigga, like, I'm fine. Like, he spoke highly of me. <laughs> he was like, y'all. Right, y'all it's a ma- in his manifesto, he yeah, says Chappelle's a genius. Yeah, right, he, right, said, right. he said, I'm yeah. cool. He's like, you need to worry about yourself. Right, right. So, which is crazy in the in, in, in dude's demise. And if you can look up dude's name, the cop that was on a rampage, like, it was it was like three, four hundred cops that showed up. Yeah. This right. motherfucker it's, shot a couple of cops. Right. And they came out blazing his ass. And you know what's funny? As they should. They protected their own. But the 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 doesn't I go get both, it. Doesn't go both ways. Chris though. Dorner was right. Man. Chris Dorner. Yeah. And his example was that why doesn't, are you surprised when we're when we're outraged when doesn't they kill right. one of our own? It doesn't go mm-hmm. both ways, though. You know what I'm saying? Don't be surprised when we outlash when you you know what I'm saying, we lash out 
and just break some shit up, you know what I'm saying, Dude, right or wrong, but we're mad, just like the cops. Mm-hmm. And it's funny how, like, the media portraying it, like, we starting up the fires, we doing the arsony and all that, you know what I'm saying, like, we not even doing that, but, like, people out here are putting up Black Lives Matters in Anglo-Saxon neighborhoods, and, like, other people, like, Anglo-Saxon are saying, yo, this is a good neighborhood, why are you putting that up there? Like, they not even getting it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, what does that have to do? Like, we're not going to, like, tear down your neighborhood. First of all, we're not looting like y'all are. Like, white people are looting. They're the ones that starting the fires. And then the media is portraying it like we doing it. It's not even the case. Not, I mean, sure. Have black people looted? Yes. Hell yeah. A lot yeah, of yeah. black people. A lot of black people. But it's not only us, though. It's, yeah, it's not, and just not only, right, yeah. It's not right. only, dude. But they gonna put the spotlight on us. Huh? It was a video of a, uh, a white woman looting, and the, uh, the newscaster was like, um, yeah. I hope maybe she's just an employee, and she's yeah, just picking up stuff. Like, crazy. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, that's crazy, whole fucking window kicked in. Did you see, uh, <laughs> me, and, like, me and you was talking about, like, um, when, the, when, when the Wendy's were burned down, mm-hmm. the dude got shot. And it was a dude protesting. He had his camera, and he was he saw right. the chick. He saw the the, the Wendy's getting the, the chick set in the fire. She's yeah. like, "See, it's not us. It's yeah. not us. Yeah. She's the one that torched the Wendy's on some angry shit." I heard it was a random white dude torched it, but they got pictures of her. They freeze frame the pictures. video. It's it was a crazy. white woman. It was a woman. Yeah, it was a white woman. But um, yeah, man, excellent show, man. <clears throat> Y'all got anything else? Yeah, I got nothing. Uh, how real do you want your rappers to be? Mm. Uh, Topic sent to me by one of my buddies since second point. grade. Shout out to my boy Al. Al, what up? Um, personally, like to me, it's about how you freak it. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Explain, like going, like yeah, I'm about to, I'm about yeah, to go yeah. back Before to the Before I answer, like, <laughs> let, 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 you know, yeah. give, give me some, give me, give me yeah. some dialogue. Oh, this it started from he was in his friend's car, his friend one of his uncle's friends, his friend's uncle's friends older than him, right. and he was playing uh, Diggable Planets mm-hmm. in the car. He was like, "Hey man, you like this kind of music?" He's like, "Yeah, it's cool, but I can't really get jiggy." With right, <laughs> <laughs> I can't get jiggy with this. He's like, "This." So then he asked me like, "Yo, how how real do you want your rappers to be?" And I'm like, I went through a little in my brain like. I mean, they don't they don't have to be out on the block shooting people, but they are. I kind of I kind of want them to talk about that because <laughs> I don't really want because if it's gonna come to that, I might as well listen to Lecrae or something. Right. Because I don't really want to hear that much positivity. I know it sounds horrible. No, I don't want to hear that much positivity in my rap. <laughs> Hip hop is I based gotta off hear some battle. street shit in there. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's bed bombs based off street shit, street but life. Does it matter if they're not really doing that to you? And he, my, my guy said he asked his uh, his niece because she listened to a bunch of the new like drill rappers and all that, and she was like, "Well, I really don't care." Like I think he asked her about six nine too, and she was like, "I don't really listen to his music," but she said Future gets a pass. Cause you know Future don't really be doing all them drugs and shit he be rapping about. Mm-hmm. That's what he said. He said in the interview, like he don't be popping pills and shit like that. Right. He just rap about it. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're if you're one of your favorite rappers is rapping about selling coke and and bricks, and then you bricks. find out he's not really doing it, are you not are you gonna stop listening to him? But I don't think I would if What'd I you really like the rapper. The first person that comes to mind, the first person that comes to mind brings to I think is is Nas like he never did any of the shit that he talked about but he saw it and so when he saw it then he put it on I think he might do a little I don't think he did I don't think he did a lot of that shit but I think he saw it right yeah yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying it's a difference that's what Jay said about him like you you didn't do it you seeing out your window or something right, like that I think yeah. he saw the shit mm-hmm. um, you just report it you can report it yeah you can Reporting it, being a, being a uh, Peter Jennings, you know what I'm saying, being a journalist, I, I can I can I can do with that. That's cool. But they don't have to be, say, Gucci man who actually murked a nigga. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I mean, if they you, ain't gotta be. On you know, that if level. you care, you know, point blank, if you're charismatic and you're witty and 
you know how to get your point across, then it's cool. Mm-hmm. That means you've been around it, though. Mm-hmm. You definitely, you definitely been around it. Like Com, we all love Common, but he's, I don't think he's Com, rapped about street shit. Right, but I don't think, but I don't think Com is a is a, a street dude. I think he's affiliate, mm-hmm. affiliated with cats. Yeah. But I don't think he actually did anything. I think he saw it mm-hmm. through his his prison, his advantage. Mm-hmm. So. You know, I think saying? all my favorite rappers at one point in time have rapped about street shit. Prodigy's a street dude. Yeah. Yeah, I think he really did that shit. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. I mean, to me, it's about how you freak it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's nothing wrong with a good book gun bar here and there. Mm-hmm, you know what I'm right. saying? Like, I mean, a lot of that is like about, that's creativity, that's entertainment. You look mm-hmm. at a movie, you know what I'm saying? That's entertainment, like you know what yeah. I'm saying. So I mean, but so I could, I could write a rap about killing like a hundred people, and and, and 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 be witty about it, like you say, and the shit come off dope. But <clears throat> when you come across, but, but but when you say shit like specific shit, when you're like, you know what I'm saying, me and my guys, we gonna ride on them niggas on the nine. Mm-hmm. Like you start talking about some real shit, mm-hmm. and you ain't really about that life. Mm-hmm. Like there's a place for that. There's, there's, there's a place to talk that real shit. You really got beef. You really fuck with different cats from someplace. There's a place for that if you really part of that. Mm-hmm. If you on that, yes, you better be real. I want to. I want to hear that out of some nigga that just heard of, heard about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But if you just talking like like you know what I'm saying with your. I mean Eminem. You know what I'm saying? Like he cold as shit with his metaphors and shit. But at the same time. We know he didn't throw any chick in the trunk, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. And he don't slit her yeah. throat and all this shit, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I'm, you, entertaining. It's entertainment. So, y'all, I mean, y'all, it, it, y'all loved him. Depending on how you pull it off. <laughs> y'all loved him, man. Yeah, 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 my top 10. It was, it was fucking Eminem. Another point my boy brought up, he said, if you putting all that shit in a song, it's basically snitching or dry snitching. No. Because that's, that's kind of how. No, shine, you, that's kind of how they got shine. Cause when he yeah. when he did the shit in the club, they used his lyrics against him. Yeah, a lot of rappers use that. Jay used that line. I can't pinpoint the exact line, but yeah, mm-hmm. a lot of rappers say that shit. Mm-hmm. Um, it's how you flip it, man. Yeah, it's you know how, how you saying? flip it. Like, um, be careful. Yeah, it, it's a way with words. Like words, definitely is. I don't know, like fucking Plato. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? If you freak it, you can bend. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not gonna come off as snitching. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If Pusha T, if it comes out, Pusha T never moved a brick, never sold a nick. I've, that's what. That's I, what I, I would heard. be mad. I ain't gonna lie. I'd be mad. I, I ain't I've gonna lie. Heard I would that be mad. This is, I would be, what's, the, what's the guy that went to jail? Like they manager. Man, I would be I mad. I heard that, that he was the guy. I would be mad, dude. I ain't gonna lie. I would, I would be, I would be, be shocked, upset. but be at the upset. same time, I'm not gonna stop fucking with Pusha T because his music's still cold as hell. Yeah, would you stop listening to his music? Uh, <laughs> the new shit, yeah, I would. I still listen to it. The old shit, I would cool, cool, But like, dude, don't tell me Pusha never. Moved I don't know. If Pusha don't tell has me Pusha bar, never moved a, a, a brick. verse about with, without a brick in it. <laughs> Man, exactly. See, that, that's the thing. That's like, his thing. That's the thing. That's his niche. Like Pusha mm-hmm. talk nothing about nothing but bricks. Right. So like. For you to talk that much about it, that means like you gotta have been a, you right, have you solidified to, at yourself. least future to his to his you know in his defense, future has talked about other shit, yeah, women, drugs, mm-hmm. partying. He talk about drugs a lot though. He talk about partying and fucking women and all that shit. Whatever. That's true. You know what I'm saying? At least there's a balance. Yeah. Pusher is strictly drugs and moving bricks. Is that chick songs, don't it? Uh, yeah, with, with uh, clips. Right, yeah. That's yeah, what well, by himself, solo, yeah. solo, it's all about yeah, drugs. Solo, mostly, drug mostly brick rap. <laughs> it's only brick rap. I guess push like the Like, if, if Benny push. the Butcher never moved a brick, wouldn't you be mad? Right. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Yeah. And you'd be right. like, man, come on, man. I don't know if... I, if Benny the Butcher but never moved a brick... I'd be like, what? If, uh, if, 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 if Push or Benny never moved a brick... I would be disappointed. Yeah, I'd be like, why it's, would you, it's a I'd be like, why would you lie thing. about that? But then I kind of get it. <laughs> right, you're a rapper. <laughs> right, exactly. My whole, you know, what I'm saying I would still listen to his music because the shit it sounds good. He can mm-hmm. actually rap, but I would take it in a different way. Like I wouldn't be yeah. like, I would take it from a strictly. I would be listening to him like I listen to Eminem, mm-hmm. as opposed to listening to him the way I listen to, uh, uh, I don't know, fucking Lil Wayne. 
Nah. Like, cause in this <laughs> moment, you believe that he's done it. Right. Yeah, yeah I, I believe that pussy. I mean, some real uh, that, that, that Benny yeah, has done yeah. it. If, so if so, he never did it, I just take it as like this. This is a dude that that got some, that's witty. He got he know how to put yeah, his words yeah. together. He says some slick shit. So yeah. wrestling. So so rap is wrestling basically. Kind of. That's, yeah. that's what my guy it's said. It's always been wrestling. You know 50, what I'm mean? saying? I remember Fifty said that on the DVD. Fifty got like, shot though. That's true, but he's like that's real. He's that's like ninety nine percent of rappers are liars because mm-hmm. common sense tells you when you go in the booth, you gotta say what's hot. So yeah. Jay, so Jay lying about his line about Jay verified it, bro. <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot of people vouch. <laughs> a lot of people vouch. You're driving up to, to to VA and shit. Yeah, and a lot of people vouch for Jay. Wow. That's in that Dame Dash thing, like like um, uh, 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 on Revolt. He got his show on Revolt. No, I didn't know he had a show. This the format is really stupid. Like like he brings people up there. They tell a story. You know what I'm saying? They tell a story about. Like street, he be having like Harlem legends and shit, and uh, they be mm-hmm. telling a story, and the music plays according to the story. Like if he talks about like, so the cops burst in, and then the music turns into ding 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 ding. Like it's pretty. So it's a musical. It's very artistic <laughs> and weird. Like you know what I'm saying. But anyway, um, I want to. I forgot who this dude is. That I guess he was in VA going back and forth with Jay, and he said uh, the Haven. Was it Haven? <laughs> no, it wasn't the Haven. Oh, no, okay. no, no. Yeah, I forgot. Whoever it was, Dame asked him, like, I guess they were in some club or whatever in VA. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and he, he said he bumped up against some nigga and they, they took it outside and he said it just went up. Like, all they, they were in they were in Virginia, so all those cats was coming on the two New Yorkers, Jay and him. Mm-hmm. And they were back to back. And, and Dame was like, even Jay was throwing hands? He's like, he's like, hey. Jay was handling his business. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so even so, Dame didn't know. So yeah, yeah. So, so Cass so, vouch for Jay. So, yeah. so he really stand on, huh? No, oh, yeah, that's what you use him as a well, point. He, he, he Joe, Zeke, you, you, don't, you don't believe that? <laughs> nah, I said his man stabbed on and made Jay take the blame. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Jay didn't stab on Either way, it's some real nigga and, shit. And Cam said he did over Charlie Baltimore, so maybe it was Jay. <laughs> Either way, it's some real nigga shit. If your man did it and you took the charge for him, because he, you know, he, he took he the charge for uh, what you gonna call it though, right? Uh, well, no, Tata took the charge for yeah. somebody else or him, right? And Tata, to took jail. A, Tata took a charge. No, what's the other? Uh, uh, Emery. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he took a charge for Jay. Right. Emery did. T- Woo! I think he did twenty. He had no choice but 50. to take care. No, of him he, when I he think he out. did ten. He did double digits. Oh, and Jay wasn't even Jay then. Right. He took it. He's a real nigga. Right he there. came out and he lodged. Now, Emory good. Yeah. And Jay wrote a it's letter to right. the judge, like, yo, when yeah. he get out, I'm going to guarantee him he's going to be working for me. And, and he's going to be in the streets, right? Right, yeah. Wow. That's a real nigga shit right but there. Did Jay lose 92 bricks? Down. Man, that's the going yeah. That's the going myth. That's the street. Like, that's the street yeah, urban. He lost yeah, he 92 bricks. He credit, cop more crack. <laughs> 92 bricks that's a lot man. That's, that's, that's a that's, lot that's, hey. yeah 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 that, that's come on man. yo 92, 92 bricks <laughs> yeah. how do you lose that except for life man 92 bricks come well, on shout out to Rap Radar man. they did the fucking interview with Jay and asked him that and edited the shit out wow why, why is he getting a shout out for that that's yeah, some, that's some, that's some that. fool shit man. <laughs> whatever we want to know <laughs> I do want to know like, do you, this do guy Jay went from selling crack to by the way cool, Jay got the cool with like if there's no such thing as a perfect life Jay has a perfect life does he he does he paid for it he paid his dues yeah for he it. went through the struggle ah what when, when? In the beginning, he lived in the projects. He's poor. Hustle okay, wait, wait, wait. From one, you mean right now? From one to eighteen. All right, he lived. Jay didn't get on until he was like twenty-five, didn't he? Yeah, but he was hustling from eighteen to twenty-five, sixteen to twenty-five. He wasn't making no major bank, was he? I bet you he wasn't making. I mean, small cheddars in the streets, though. That ain't no easy life. Niggas yeah. trying to kill you. Yeah, up. yeah. stressed yeah. out. He got PTSD. He wasn't broke. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. He wasn't broke. No, yeah, yeah, when did they been broke? Life though, like you know, because he grew up broke. What? When he was playing pots and pans well, for his mom and dad? <laughs> what mom? did you mean by by the perfect life? You mean yeah. like now or the last now, yeah. years? No, or? I'm saying like he, he's never been to jail, even though he's done his dirt. He got locked up, huh? When he stabbed on. Did he go to jail for that? He ain't go yeah, to jail he went for to that. jail. He got locked up. There's no no picture. There's no. No. I remember the MTV report. Jay Z got locked up. 
Dude, I don't, I don't remember. I don't up. think he got locked up, dude. He didn't do no time, but he I mean, went I to jail. He got yeah. handcuffed, he got he handcuffed then you pay the bail and you out. That's not locked up. He got taken in. Uh, three years probation. <laughs> that's not <laughs> more than three. That's not locked up. He didn't get locked up. No, that's not locked nah, up. That ain't no. getting time. I'm saying he got... He got arrested and took out to the yeah, car. Yeah, who hasn't he been didn't go, arrested? He wasn't yeah, yeah, no, 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 that's fine. Like, I thought he did go to jail. No, he didn't go to jail. He's never been to jail. Yeah, he went to court. <laughs> okay. Nah, that don't count. Man. Mm. That, that, three years probation. Come on, man. All right. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I guess he does have the perfect life. I guess. I'm saying in the, in the facts of that he's done his he done his dirt, turned his life around, and now. He can influence. He can influence the world, man. And ain't he's been in, he's been influencing. Dream. He's been influencing the world since he was twenty six. Twenty seven. Yeah, everybody wearing button ups. Yeah, everybody yeah. wearing big clothes. Throwbacks. Yeah, he had everybody wearing whatever he decided he wanted to go. He had the streets rocking exactly. Yeah, he had, exactly he had me rock, rocking Sean Doc Carter's. <laughs> the S dots. Yeah, I, I rocked the S dots. You had them. Yeah, I rocked them. What I mean. I think you were proud of it. You about to say you were proud time, of it? Yeah, and now I'm not. <laughs> he's like, yo, he's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Jay, man. Shout Living out to legend. Jay. Shout out to Jay. Come do the show, man. We'll, we'll, we'll bring you to 7S Studios. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we can offer. But. It's hip hop, man. Do it for hip. Do it for the culture. <laughs> Yo, sports life and hip hop, man. Let's wrap this thing up, man. It's been a beautiful show, man. We touched on a lot. Um, T-shirts, we got merch, got merch. Once again, as always, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Get the joints. You know what I'm saying? You got, you got. We got the stickers. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> put them on your car. Put them on your cups. Put them on your fridge, so you don't forget to tune in on, on every show. Uh, sports life and hip hop on YouTube. S L H H pod on uh, on IG the content on there is just as entertaining um uh shirts merch pants whatever you need go to dope fits go to dopeassfits.com um what else uh wash, you gotta, it, wash your hands make sure you do that listen to listen to people that listen to doctors that say wash your hands <laughs> you know what i'm saying like wash your ass you, you know what i'm saying put the mask wash your on yo don't you're an infant don't, right. don't go to Walmart with no mask on. Like, wear your mask. Yeah, Dude. man. That mask going to be around, too. Yeah. Get used to it. Just get used to it. Just rock your mask. At man. least next five years minimum. It's not too much to ask. No. It's for some people, it is. Yeah. Yeah. I think for the others, it is. Until they start <laughs> coughing. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, um, breakthroughforyou.com. If you have a small business trying to expand, you need social media work. Um... We appreciate, we appreciate all the subscribers, the followers, definitely the people numbers that view. Going up. Numbers going up. We appreciate y'all. De- for real, dead ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to the thousands and thousands of listeners. Thank you. Uh, shout out to Seven S for uh, for the studio for mm-hmm. having us. Beautiful Seven Palatial S. Estates. Seven S Worldwide. We're gonna be moving up pretty soon. You know what I'm saying? No. Um, don't forget uh, uh, the new music, by the way. Shout out to my man, Spirit King the God, man. That's a dope album you got. Shout out to Spirits. Um, hashtag Free Slaves for Sale. Free Slaves for Sale um, on all platforms. Uh, also, don't forget Universal Law, Drake Hobbs, and Channel 7. All platforms. Um, that's pretty much it, man. Dopeassfits.com for the Flash Apparel. S L H H P O D I G. Trying to think, am I forgetting anything? Nah, we'll catch you on the next one. Indeed. Once again, we got the All Star cast. My man Zeke, the one and only Ricky Sweet. Bong bong. And I'm Channel 7. Peace. That's right. That's right. That's right.